Dear Ecosians, welcome to this new tree update, this time in Tanzania, because our tree team now is able to visit the projects again with a lot of precautions. And we decided to visit first this project in Tanzania with the LEED Foundation, where I am. And as you can see here, the land is very, very dry. So planting saplings here doesn't really work. So they have this technique called FMNR, and it's a technique where you are pruning basically a bush and uh, you select which branches you want to keep. And this is a technique which really helps for the tree to grow very fast and to be very strong. So I've learned this week with all the villagers who have been doing these techniques for more than 400,000 trees thanks to your searches. And I'm gonna show you now how to do it. much harder than expected. As you can see, I'm struggling a little bit, but I'm gonna continue. I got this. <laughs> It will grow very much faster now because I removed some competition of some branches that were also growing. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about the results and uh, that's it. <laughs> Speaking to you now, my colleague Katharina is currently visiting one of our other partners in Sudan, where communities of women have planted 400,000 Acacia Senegal thanks to your searches. And those trees have been planted on farmland and they produce Arabic gum. So selling this Arabic gum has dramatically improved the income of these women, but also improved their place in society. One thing about this project is that also some of the revenues are reinvested to plant more trees, which makes this project even more sustainable. So one of the main challenges of this project is due to the conflict happening in the region where people are forced to move from one place to another. But despite this challenge, Katharina has told me earlier today that people are very motivated to sustain their trees and they really see the value in them. So in two days, I'm going to be traveling to another part of Tanzania to visit another partner. So I'll see you there. southern highlands of Tanzania with the Wildlife Conservation Society. Now I'm located in the Matsukulu forest where we are planting along river catchment to restore those degraded areas. And not far from here in the Rungwe mountains, we are planting on degraded land to preserve natural habitats where you can find wildlife species such as the Kapunji monkey, Galago and leopards. And that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and for following me here on my trip in Tanzania. See you next time and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like those videos. But also their place in society. And... Ah, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> so setting this... Setting... <laughs> sorry. Make this project sustainable in the long term. No, it wasn't the other way around. Shh. I'm joking. Oh wait, someone's calling me. Going <laughs> to another part of Tanzania to visit. <laughs> so I'll see you there. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs>